The name is really, really offensive, and it was. It always has been because I mean, there's a history to what the name actually was called now, as opposed to what it was called a couple of years ago. Um, and it is less offensive as Redmen as when it was called Squaws, but it's still offensive. Students and staff here at McGill say the Redmen sports team name is discriminatory. And in a long-awaited decision, the principal and vice chancellor, Suzanne Fortier, says the school is officially abandoning the name. Montreal's McGill University announced Friday morning it will change the name of its men's varsity sports teams, the Red Men, saying it is an offensive term for indigenous people and that the derogatory meaning does not reflect the beliefs and values of the McGill community. In a statement, Suzanne Fortier says the Red Men name is not one that our community would choose today and it is not one that McGill should carry forward into our third century. Effective today, McGill University's men's varsity teams will cease to be called the Redman. McGill professor Fabrice Labo says the name was very divisive. Uh, the decision we made today was really a result of listening to all these people and coming to the realization that despite the fact that the name Redman that was used for our varsity teams up to now uh, did not originally uh, refer to indigenous peoples, it has come over the years, uh, it has become a pejorative. And uh, it's very clear whenever you, uh, you, you look it up in any of the current English dictionaries that it is considered a pejorative, and so we definitely wanted to change that name based on that. For over a year, some students have campaigned for a name change. On campus, students say they're glad their university took that decision, but say it has taken a lot of time. I think it should have been done, well, like, I think it never should have been named the Redmond team in the first place, but I think it should have been done years ago. I think it's a good thing. I'm kind of surprised it took this long, but I feel like there wasn't really much to deliberate over. It should just be easy to get rid of. I feel like it should be a fairly obvious decision. I know there was a lot that went into it that I am i don't know about, but um, in my opinion, it should have been an easy choice. The executive director of the Native Women's Shelter in Montreal, Nakuset, says McGill's decision is great because the Renman name is offensive. We're more than just the color. You can't just say, you know, and I know they backpedal on that and they're like, well, you weren't, we were just talking about like the color red, that, that's the, the color of the team and that's why they're called the red men. But if the color was black, would they call the team the black men? I don't know. I think that, you know, they might think twice about that, but what it is about indigenous people that you can just take our culture and um, use it to sort of push your own agenda. Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations Carolyn Bennett says the Edmonton Eskimos could take a lesson from this. She calls the change a huge success. It really comes from the students and from their understanding of their role in reconciliation and the fact that those students at McGill were very, very um, uncomfortable um, with uh, that uh, stereotype. In Montreal, Emile Lemieux, City News.